Yep. I'm back out. This time. Oh, I might have coughed up. Just turn on. There's no path. There's a path, but it runs off. Um, coastal walk. It's down by the coast. Beautiful day. This is the actual sluice of Seaton Sluice. Right, old history here. A lot of old history. So I'm going to go for a circular, big circular walk, end up on the beach. Let's see where I end up. Hopefully, restrictions are going to be lifted on Monday. Apparently, that's the news. That's the big news. So we'll see what happens. For now, I'll just crack on. This is one of them big metal sewer pipes I was on about. Remember on the other videos there's a stone thing holding them up. I don't know where that goes. I don't know where it comes from. It goes all, all the way along where it's coming from, right out to sea. Uh, outfall pipe. Oh, God, what's in there. It's a lovely place this so you get best of both worlds. It's like Waterland. A river. It's a tidal river. But it's actually seawater. And, uh, and then later run around, get on the coast. It's a good walk, this. Don't know how far I'll get. We shall see. You come off the path, if you know the place well, you come across this little folly. And this was called, or well, still is, Starlight Castle. Starlight Castle. See if I can find a picture of what it looked like when it was first built. Built in 1750 by Francis Delaval. Somebody bet him that he couldn't build it in 24 hours. So you know what he did? He built it in 24 hours. And you can pretty much tell <laughs> What's what's left of it? Just a folly though, just 1750. What's that, 10 to 6? A lot of stuff happened, it happened at 10 to 6, didn't it? Anyway, so they must have just had nothing better to do than to build this. Starlight Castle. Starlight. So, anybody familiar with my videos will recognise this place. Yeah. The old mausoleum with a 20 foot wall around it. And there's a lot of lot of lads in there, like I hope they don't leave a bloody mess. Let's see if we don't leave a mess. There's no need to take your shit where you've got bikes. I'll have a senior, senior faces. It's right in the woods. This is the horse chestnut tree. Conquer tree. This is the uh, hand sanitizer. Natural nature's hand sanitizer. Oh, check that out. Right, somebody else coming now, so I'm just gonna crack on. Weird bloke in the woods talking to himself. Right, but anyway, popular bloody places. To the, to the back of that mausoleum now. It's all by behind here, it's like people's houses. I'm not sure I should be here. Look at all the blue bells though. Blue bells and pink bells. Nice. I uh, just end up, I've been here before, so you keep walking right through. You come to a blooming wall like that, you've got to climb the wall. Oh dear. Be right. So I'll just come out. Wall in the wall. Still kind of jump down. Right, so the next stage 
is to get over there beyond them dunes that's where I started off so I walk all the way around there come along here up there around and then back here it's still only about three miles like it's not very far so I'm gonna get over the dunes now and then see what's over there head along the rocks on the coast a little bit beached boats Tired gentleman working on the boat that will never sail, sail again. Boy. I'm headed to St. Mary's Island. I think I need to climb back up because these, these cliffs are dangerous like and the rocks are dead slippy. Vibram salts, no good on slippy rocks. I killed myself five times. I'm going to climb back up. I'll climb back up there. You can walk along the top, right along there. You can walk all the way to the island, but it'll be cut off now. So I'll not be going to the island. Right, we're going up there. Scrambling, yes, a bit of scrambling. tide was out, you can get down there and just walk along the beach. And it turns out, the tide's in. It's flipping loads of people about. To ease this lockdown on Monday, it's gonna be just a free for all. Right, crack on, nearly there. Nearly turning round point. I think it's about four and a half mile. Seems like a lot more. Well, we've took a um, natural break. That's my view. Oh dear. She's got a kind of northern monk. Newer world, 7.4. It's from Morrison, this. Ah, it's good that's still cold. It's dead cold. Into the island, but I can't get over. The tide's not high yet, so yeah, not to worry, save it for another day. Just where them cliffs are sticking out, it's coming around the back of there. I walked a canny bit like. Just lying in the grass. <laughs> Cheers. What the hell, eh? I'm on my holidays. I'm not been to work this morning and then just come for my daily exercise and a can of beer. Oh. So I've come down the stairs of death onto the rocks of terror, with the sea of doom and <laughs> The balance and stones of blooming Bangkok. What has been going on here? People have too much time on their hands. Oh dear. This is mad. It gets madder along here. Oh. Like some sort of uh, 
It's like some sort of holy place. No, it's not though. It's just people mucking about in it. Look at this lot. Crikey. Crikey. It was close. You're gonna make it wet here like. Tiny bit of water. Look at it though. How bizarre. I like it. Comes all the way along there. I like it. I never I never got the island. There's too many people there. All loads of groups of lads on bikes and all. So, like I say, it's getting eased on Monday, hopefully, so everybody can do whatever they want then. Watch this. Oosh. That's it, I'm back. Done about six and a half miles. But that's it, it's a nice walk. This pub here is a good pub, it used to be. Move it shut. You just murder a pint now, couldn't you? King's Arms are down there. That looks like it's shutting down. Like they took the they took the name off. Hmm. Anyway, another good walk. Again, I'm not feeling myself, so don't know. Let's see what happens.